Okay, we have another screencast from DIYPCRepairs.net and this time we're going to be taking a look at antivirus and the ways that you can protect yourself while surfing the internet. Uh, the number one soft piece of software that you need when you're surfing the internet is an antivirus program. If you're currently surfing the internet without one, you really are at risk from all the nasties that are out there at the moment. Um, it, it, it really is, as Microsoft put it here, essential that you have some sort of antivirus if you're on the internet, especially if you're on the internet and doing online shopping, online banking or anything like that. Um, you know, it really is important that you get some sort of antivirus. And we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Security Essentials, which is a, a new antivirus from them. Um, and it's free, which is great. It's getting some very good reviews. So for all those people that are currently watching this with antivirus, this really is for you. So we're going to be taking a look at how we actually download and install Security Essentials in this part one. And in part two, we'll be taking a look at some of its settings and how to run it. So if we get into downloading, you see up here in the address bar that we have the address for the home page for Security Essentials. Um, and once you've navigated to their home page, you'll see that um, we have a, a, a bit of a description on Security Essentials. Uh, Microsoft Essentials is free, but if you take a look down here, your PC must be running genuine Windows to install this. So hopefully we're all running genuine Windows and um, we're going to be taking a look at downloading. So I'm currently using Internet Explorer 8, um, so we'll we'll get into it and we'll we'll download. So it's pretty straightforward. Homepage, um, you see the download link here. So if we left click on download now, we'll get a pop up from Microsoft. We'll also get the file download dialog box. And once that's appeared, we want to left click on run. This is going to download a little temporary file for us. And again, once that's downloaded, if we click on run again. That will begin the download and the install. User account control again is popping up and we just click continue. And then once we get to the installation page, uh, you can have a read through that and then click next. Again, uh, license agreement and we click accept. And now this is the part where it's going to validate our Windows install. Now if you're running a genuine Windows, nothing to fear here, just click on validate. Um, it will then give you a quick flash screen there that it's passed and it's a genuine Windows. Um, this is actually running Vista at the moment, um, but this will run on XP Windows 7. Uh, it's just that my uh, Windows 7 install has antivirus running it already, and this Vista machine's a, a clean install. So once we've gone through the validation part, we can click install, and this is going to start the the install of the security essentials. Okay, so once we've got the download out of the way and the install, we'll get this screen, we'll click finish. Now, there will be a tick in the scan my computer for potential threats. Leave that tick in and click OK. So we're going to see that computer status at the moment is at risk. We'll just shut IE down. Um, so what's good, what it's actually turned as it's at risk from is that we're not running a current database uh, virus definition. So what it's going to do is going to download the latest updates and depending on the size of the download it's going to take a minute or two. Okay, once the definitions have updated, um, due to the fact that we left the tick in the box it will run a scan. Uh, it's running the quick scan and once you've you've run through the scan you'll be presented with this page and for this video that's as far as we're going to go in part two we'll be taking a look at some of the some of the settings that we can alter and, and what some of these things are so make sure you check out the second part of the video and uh, and that's it and i'd like to thank you for viewing